To create the sunset and sunrise motif, I like to start by drawing a few triangular lines in my border. I don't use silly, I'm not usually very particular about that, so I just use chalk and I eyeball it. To get started sewing it, you start in the middle of the first drawn line and begin stitching in downward facing triangle. First I started with a little knot by stitching over the previous line of stitching. And as soon as I can, I always clip those stitches. So now make the upside down triangle and it's three short curved lines. And then you fill in the rest of the triangle with small, very small triangles like sun rays. Now we're ready for the sunrise which is an upward triangle, three curved lines, and again, the small triangle rays. It's the last sun ray actually forms the beginning of the next motif. And you just fill in as much as you can. You really want to create sort of a dense fill in the, with the rays. When you get to the corner, I like to fill in the entire corner with the sun rays. So I always make sure it ends up with the, the circle, sort of the three-quarter circle at the corner. And you need to echo stitch that four times so that you end up um, in position to fill in all the way around and then keep going. Now you really see how awkward it is to quilt all the way to the edge of a quilt like this. It puts your hand in a rather awkward position, but sometimes I just can't help myself. I want to fill in every, every little space available. And there you go, you're ready to complete the next edge of the border. Now you may want to go back and fill in around the central, the central motif, the sun. And what that does is it really creates a nice pop. It, the dense quilting around the less dense quilting helps that center motif really pop. In this case, I've outlined each of the rays and then just added spiral to create a fill. This is really densely quilted. And I used a variegated thread that closely matches the fabric but provides a little bit of texture. And there you see how much um, pop it really gives to the motif in the center by densely quilting around it. The variegated thread creates a nice texture but isn't overly obvious. Of course, you always want to start by doodling first and practicing this on paper. You can change the center spiral. It can be larger or smaller to accommodate the rays, depending on what you'd like to do. And of course, always end by binding your quilt and enjoying it with a cup of tea. I hope you'll join me at Lori Kennedy Quilts for the 25-week Better Machine Quilting Quilt Along. Thank you. Have fun.